You know, there's a, there's a big problem with this government, and we want to introduce some level of uh, common sense. Uh, whatever these people are smoking, it's not working for them. Mm -hmm. They need to either stop it completely, reduce it, or as they say in the streets, because it is not working for them. Let us just introduce common sense and listen to the people. If the constitution starts by recognizing the supremacy of the people, where is the voice of the people? What is the purpose of this public participation? So you hear the head of state himself saying that uh, uh, the, the housing project is going to go on uh, irrespective of the decisions of the court that he's going to send the police to Haiti, irrespective of what the courts have said, that is not the country that we want to live in. We want common sense to return. We want the supremacy of the people of, uh, of Kenya to return in governance. So I don't see any way that you can regularize, because any law that you pass must be in accordance with the wishes of the people. And the people have spoken clearly that this housing levy is something that they do not want. So is this simply based on the lack of ability to bear more taxes for Kenyans, and not necessarily the lack of needs for houses? Or I think that is the primary consideration given the state of the people uh, right now and I've argued that the state of the nation is a state of the people yeah. uh, people are, uh, are are facing very difficult times even the few people uh, who say are uh, employed yesterday I was at uh, a Kwanjenga primary school uh, as part of my oversight work over the school feeding program and the teachers raised a very interesting point they said Sifuna you people are saying you're feeding children in schools. But have you, you, you imagine that we as teachers are very happy to be feeding these children this food, and yet we don't have food ourselves. The teachers are looking at the children eating and wondering, what do you think us guys don't need food? Because if you look at the, the teachers basically right now, so a teacher who, who teaches at a primary school like uh, Kwanjenga is not a rich person. If they tell you the, the state of their pockets, their deductions, some of them have children who are unable to go to school. They are in their houses. When you leave a school like that, you're given a full list of teachers' children who are unable to go to Form 1, people who have done Form 4, uh, Class 8. Yeah. So we are saying the state of the people is such that the sort of taxes that have been imposed by this uh, uh, current regime are unbearable. Please allow us to be able to breathe just for a few years, and then you can tell us about new taxes. Okay. Now... If you say, for example, we have a, we have a right to, to, to clean air. Can you go to court right now and say, I don't have clean air? There is the right of the pursuit of happiness in the American Constitution. Mm. Somebody can say my happiness is, you know, something that offends you. You get my point? Mm. Is there, is there, is there, can somebody take you to court for, for, for because he is not allowed to have the pursuit of happiness? Okay. So our constitution is a very, all constitutions generally are very ambitious. Yeah. They have all, you know, it's a shopping list, very good ideas in that. But the issue is, what is legally applicable in there? Okay, let me bring in the lawyers. You know, of this. You know, is there judicial Farah has said a lot of things that are just outrageous. First of all, you can go to no, no, court just, yeah. to enforce your right to clean air. It is just common sense. If the law requires that, for instance, a uh, certain quality of air should be maintained, there's a law on the environment, and then somebody puts up a factory there that is polluting the air, or uh, a quarry that is making noise. We have seen people litigate these things, and the courts have actually shut down those operations because they are ruining your right to a clean air. Number two, when you talk about checks and uh, talk about separation of powers, in fact, there's also the checks and balances bit of it, that in fact the judiciary exists to check the power of the legislature and the power of the, the executive. You cannot say it is judicial overreach when a judge takes a law that you have passed in parliament and looks at it in terms of comparison with the propriety or uh, whether it was passed in accordance with the constitution. It is the people of Kenya who gave the judiciary the power to do that. And this constitution says the, 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 the constitution, the people, is, the people are supreme. So you cannot argue that the, supreme, the, 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 the people in uh, the executive cannot be told how to govern when they have the five years. That is just not true. I think you are living in the past, Farah, because this new constitution no, 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 I'm not totally the changed past. the paradigm. Because you cannot tell us that you cannot be challenged in court for decisions you make as a legislature or as the executive. In the that court. is why the checks and balances <coughs> exist. And when you are elected as a people, there is a reason why you have to take an oath. And that oath does not say that I will do what I want to do for the five years because I have a mandate. The oath says that you will obey and protect this constitution. That is what you, you take an oath through. And before you subscribe to that oath, you cannot even start the work you've been elected to do. 
That is what the Constitution says. So please, some of those arguments do not make any sense. And Trump never built any wall. I don't want to go to the US to show you. He never built the wall that he claimed to build. So some of those examples you're giving us just don't make any sense. The you, have not, Senator you, have not where, you have not seen walls in the, in the Senator States? Mungatana. Yes. You say, unlike me who comes from the city, you in uh, Tana River yeah. don't need housing as much as I do. I was in Garsen. Your people are living on the road. Your people oh. are living on the road, the ones who are affected by the floods. In yes. fact, we were saying so you the priority of, of you government. Distinguish that no, just a minute. The, regular the, the, priority, the priority of government, yeah. of course, is to make sure that people enjoy the life uh, to the utmost. I have no problem with that. I will not argue against the need for housing Correct. here in Nairobi. Correct. We have examples of these things having been done. There was a slum upgrading project that was initiated during the Grand Coalition government by Raila Odinga. You didn't see a levy introduced at that particular point to do that. No. Number two, we, uh, when, when Uhuru Kenyatta was in power, he started many of these uh, projects, including the ones in Mukuru that I see uh, the president from time to time just going to pass by and take photos and claim that he's one building them. Those houses were begun without that housing levy. We are saying, let us have a conversation about how this thing is being implemented. And number two, you as a legislator, where do you think the views of those people you have given examples of, those mze, that Mze that spoke in Tana River, what happens to his views? Are you sure? Can you give him an assurance that those views will be reflected in the final product? You and me know that at the end of the day, this public participation that Farah says there is no legislation to, uh, to, to guide has already been defined by our own courts. Yes. The courts have said that this public participation is not a cosmetic exercise. Yes, Parliament has not passed that law, but we are saying even the courts exist to develop the law. Farah, there is l l law that comes no. from the courts. No. There is law that comes from the courts. I don't oh know why oh people God. don't understand some of these basic things. <laughs> Yet you have been in public service for years. <laughs> Senator Mungatana cannot guarantee the people who spoke in Tana River that their views will be uh, implemented in the final law. What will happen? Because this is our pende wasipende government, forget about what the uh, senator is saying here. He knows for a fact that when the bill comes to parliament, this debate he is crying for will not happen. He knows they will be called from state house and told, petition yoki to buy sasaba. These are the groups that go there and chant, put the question. He is one of them. Yeah. So, is that Kenya Kwanza uh, so, so, can I, can I, first of no, all, I'll give you, no, 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 you are misleading don't, people don't here. Lie to you are misleading don't people. Don't lie to the people don't, that don't, there will don't, be don't, a debate. There will be no debate. I can assure you, because Ruto himself has spoken to this issue. He has said, wapende wasipende, whether the courts pronounce themselves, whether wanainchi speak, it doesn't matter who says what. He is going to implement this project, come rain, come sunshine. So, your views, all of those things, we saw it with the finance bill, Trevor. We were with you here. How many people, how many organizations, 99% of the people who showed up before the committee said these taxes you wanted to, uh, to impose were going to hurt the economy. The economy is hurting right now. Did Ruto listen? Did any of the members of parliament in Kenya Kwanza listen to the people? Mungatana himself today, I want him to tell the people of Tana River. I want him to tell the people of Tana River that if that bill comes and it is not reflective of their views, he will vote against it. He can't say that because I know how why, he will vote. Why, okay, I know let, how he let, will can vote. I can I speak yes, to I this? Know. First of all, you know Sefuna is a very good misleader <laughs> because, for example, now he's talking about the Raila Odinga starting the housing project in, in the slum upgrading. It was not his project. Whose project was it? It was not his project. It was, was done, it? it was done in his constituency. Let no, me no, no, no. No, it was done in Langata no. constituency. Mweshimiwa, you are not there. I was are, there. What do you, you mean I was not, not there? there. I was you, the Prime Minister at that particular point in time. You are not in the house. You are not in the house. That project was conceived under 2030, Vision 2030, and it was there. And in fact, I'll tell you for a fact that there was resistance from the local member of parliament who was Raila Odinga at that time. Yes, he came into the bandy wagon <laughs> afterwards. It is Don't a fact. Don't history, my friend. No, no, it is a fact. Don't I'm rewrite history. You. It is a fact that at the initial stages, he was telling people that uh, this thing is political. No. Later on is when he changed. That's no. a fact, Bwana. Please we don't were lie. in government. Don't lie to the anyway, and you don't need to be apart, a member of parliament apart, to see how this no, is coming up. Apart sure. from that, I, I want to, to make the other correction. Yeah. Mweshmiwa is arguing that uh, I need to give guarantees to the people that their views will be heard. I, I, I'll tell you this, that those views were heard. That's why, as a senator... In the bill. 
as a senator for Tana River, I'm telling you, as a senator for Tana River, I spoke to that bill in that meeting. I don't know whether you went to any public participation. You no, I did not. not there. You will go on a zungunka kufanya mambo ya ODM. Correct. You see? Nilikuwa. And you see now the problem with these people. Because they, I'm not a they, member of they, the public. No, you, don't, you allow the, the public no, to no, speak. No, no, no. The if issue with these people, it is ODM the problem has, with these has, people has told is the that people to speak they are things. always out there painting things, doing things that are not relevant to process that result in actual in actual good in actual legislation for the people he's out, he has now like the way he's talking now he's already decided he's not going to debate in fact honorable no, sister, it's you. I, want, I want to tell you i want to tell him on that on that uh, there's a particular bill where you said you would rather stay and take a drink rather than come and give no it was the president's speech yes, not a bill it, it was the president's the speech same thing. Okay. i can't see you listening to lies to it's not the same thing the people of Nairobi. what representation happens you at a presidential failed. speech of course what, what, did, what did you say during the speech? Unless you did it, unless you didn't, you don't know what you, the you is about. You are deviating? No, I'm not deviating. I'm trying to show you that the problem, that Trevor, the problem with, the problem with uh, Honorable Sifuna is that he just talks. He's not focusing on the issues. He's saying we are not debating, and yet he himself, he is not in the house to debate. <laughs> he is out there doing ODM matters. He is not the giving house public... The recess, boss. <laughs> you know that. No, where I'm, you talking, I'm talking about... I've just given an example and you the president's know. speech it was on okay. the I will on address that. the Hansard okay. I'll address where that. he says that he would rather be out there drinking than sitting in the house to do the thing this is the attitude these people have okay. their thinking is that when you go out there and I keep saying negative thing about my country, negative thing about the issues that the president is pushing. Then the people will elect me. I want for your for your information, Kwata Rifayako. People will not elect you people if you don't have programs okay. and plans. So okay. let's come, come back to the and, main point. You, no, the point. Are I'm you guaranteeing the old man that his views will be high? I am going to when say this. And I will say this. <laughs> yeah. In fact, what he said yes. will be on the Hansard. When this matter comes, I took notes. I was there, and I'm a very serious legislator. Mm. I took notes, and we have very serious issues. In fact, when I was speaking, I even told them, take note yeah. that the board you are creating must reflect the views of those of us who are in the marginalized areas. And if they are not, because, will you reject that? No, no, vote? of course I will, because I'm, I'm, I'm in, entitled to vote. I am entitled also to improve by making amendments okay. to that act, okay? Because I am a sitting legislator, okay? So what I'm trying to say is that can Honorable Sifuna and his ilk stop banding negativity? Let them come and do the work. Let them start stop saying that yo Kenya Kwanza will go there and put the question, there'll be no debate. Yeah. How come when we were doing the social protection bill in Turkana, I moved an amendment. That that is a bill that is coming from the state house, and that is a bill that is a foundation on the Kenya Kwanza agenda. But I moved an amendment. Okay. The problem with our, our, our colleagues in, in the in the opposition, they think that when they go to funerals, when they go to party meetings and uh, and and hurl these words negative words, negative, negative. That's when they'll get elected. Showing how bad our country is, is, is their ticket to, to state house. I am giving them news that the people of Kenya can also see through them. Mm. That you need to come up with alternative programs. Okay. Like if you believe that uh, housing is, is, not, is not an important program, yeah. come with an alternative program. Okay. If you think housing, the way we have, well, we have presented it, is not good enough, then don't, don't, uh, don't, 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 don't support it, but come with an alternative. I expected Sifuna amend. okay. to tell us that we need to amend this this way. <laughs> we need to talk to this bill this way. We need to to stand before Kenyans and tell them instead of maybe bringing affordable housing, let us put expensive but long-lasting houses. Yeah. We need to have ideas. These people don't have ideas. Their only ideas, and I'm sorry to say, Buana SG, their only idea is to wait. When Ruto says something, you attack it. Okay. When uh, Nini, uh, uh, Treasury says something, you attack it. When the Minister for Road says something, you attack it. Okay. That, is, that is their agenda, All right. which is unfortunate All because right. I know inside the opposition resides some good brains. All right. That they can be now. useful yes. to put ideas, alternative yes, ideas, yes. that will help this country All go right. forward. All right. Not to that just say everything is bad. Farah. Farah, Farah, it doesn't you, help you. us. Farah. This is Legrand from Simple Generations.